In this video, we'll show you how to quickly import post translations for the Polylang plugin. This is very useful when you get the translated posts in a CSV file for editing in Excel, Google Sheets or any other CSV editor. We'll do this with the Posts, Pages, and Custom Post Types Spreadsheet plugin. This plugin allows you to view and edit posts, pages, and any custom post types on WordPress using an intuitive spreadsheet. Besides installing the plugin, you need to download and install the WP Sheet Editor Polylang extension, which will add full compatibility between WP Sheet Editor and Polylang. You can find the links to download the plugin and the extension in the description of this video. Also, you'll find the link to our written guide. Once you have opened the spreadsheet, you'll see all your WordPress posts displayed as rows, and their fields displayed as columns. Notice that our main Polylang language is English, and that we have 79 posts. You can also see the language of the posts in the Polylang language column. If you select Spanish or any other language, you'll see that we have only one post, which is the one we translated manually. And you'll see the language of the post in the Polylang language column. What we'll do is to export all the English posts to a CSV file, translate the posts with Excel or Google Sheets, and then import the translations back to WordPress. First, we will export all posts to a CSV file for translation. With the spreadsheet in English, open the export tool. Here, we'll select to export all active columns. Then, select the app you'll use to edit the file. And export the CSV file. This is how the translated posts look like in Google Sheets. It's very important to edit the Polylang language column to include the language of the translated content. Once your CSV file is ready, we'll have to save the document if you're working with Excel, but if you're working with Google Sheets you'll have to download the file. Now that we're ready to import the Spanish translations of our posts, open the spreadsheet in Spanish. Then open the import tool. Select the source of the document, in this case the computer. Choose the CSV file that you'll import. And hit next. Select to import all the columns. Here, select to import all rows as new. And click next to go on. Now you'll see a preview of how the courses will look imported. So click here, and your import process will start. In just some minutes, all the imported translations will be displayed in the spreadsheet. And if you go to the Polylang language column, you'll see the language correctly set. This is why the translator must change the translation language when preparing the CSV file. Importing Polylang translations from Excel or Google Sheets is really simple with WP Sheet Editor, since you don't need to manually create the translations on WordPress, just export the posts, hire a translator or edit the CSV yourself, and then import the translations back to WordPress. Remember that you'll find a link to the written guide, as well as the links to download the plugin and the extension in the description of the video. We have live chat support on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to find more video tutorials.